All right, everybody, welcome back to some more Tell Me Why. So we're at the graveyard. And I really don't know if we're going to give fucking Tessa two smoke barrels full of fucking gun smoke being here at a cemetery, so we'll see. You really have to go, Eddie? Smoke my hand if you want. I can walk fine on my own. It'll be quick, okay? Then we'll get something to eat. The day of the funeral. I barely remember it. That's probably for the best. I don't think either of us are exactly eager to relive what went on behind that gate. So... I know I said we didn't have to visit her grave. But it feels like the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly. Damn it. Let's go visit it. Don't really have a choice. You remember where she is? No. For what it's worth, I remember staring at the water during the funeral. <sighs> Allison, please. I'm, I'm not going. Allison, come back. <sighs> yeah. Any hope that this would be easier than last time? Totally gone. At least this time, no one's sending me away. I'm holding you to that. Afterwards, son of a I bitch. A moment over there by the totem, right? I wonder if we could see that. Doesn't hurt to check. Yep. I won't let them take you away. I'm gonna tell them the truth. You swore, Allison. I'm gonna be okay. Please, don't worry about me. I know I'm supposed to get over this brown thing, but I really wish you'd been able to come visit that much. Yeah, me too, but look, I didn't make any promises that day. You did. Watch. Oh, jeez. Don't make me choose again. Choose again. They all think you killed her. It's not fair. I'll be okay. You have to take care of yourself now. See? It's possible. But I don't think so. Well, I know so. Thinking about it got me through the rest of the day. Fuck! They're gonna make me choose. I'll be... But I'm gonna come see you every week. And we'll talk with our voice every day. Back soon, all right? Promise. God, what did I be? Soon, all right? Promise. We'll we'll go with Tyler. Promise to return. Promise. Chief Brown's gonna take care of you. We'll be okay. You'll see. Kids, it's about to start. I'm sorry it took me so long to come back. I got so caught up in everything that you really don't have to explain. I understand what you were going through. I understand. Are you ever gonna let me finish my sentences? <laughs> Maybe someday, but not today. I we really about to give Tessa the smoke visiting our mother's grave. And also, I chose Allison's again because. I feel like it was the better choice. Like I feel like Tyler in that instance would be like, "Oh, I'll come back soon. You don't have to worry about me." That's what it was always about is Tyler reassuring Allison, "He'll be fine. They'll be fine." That's why I chose Allison there real quick. Just might get my ex. But like I was saying, are we really about to give Tessa the smoke visiting our dead mother's grave? Maybe. We'll see. I might go easy on her. Skating on Wednesday. I wish you could have seen her. She took off across that ice like she was born. Wait, Kendra. She's your child, that's for sure. Oh, that's not. Got no. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Who are you? I'm sorry. We didn't mean to eavesdrop. No harm done. Hey, you're that nice gal from the Vecchi store, Allison, right? Yes. And you're, um, it starts with a K, right? Kendra. Don't worry. Don't expect you to keep track of everyone who passes through. And you would be... Her brother. I'm Tyler. 
Pleased to meet you, Tyler. That'd be nice. Uh, I hope this isn't rude, but she's from Where's Louisiana. Georgia. Fuck. Born and raised. Landed in Delos about two years ago. From Georgia to the middle of nowhere, Alaska. There's got to be a story there. Well, I wasn't planning to stay for more than a few months. And we came up for the fishing season, just like we'd done twice before. My husband, Meech, he always tried to convince me to stay on longer, but I wasn't having it. But then, well, we lost him. Fishing accident. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Way too many families around here have lost someone that way. Yeah, something's got to change. Anyway, now it's just me and my daughter, Jaina. And I just can't bring myself to pack us up and leave him here all alone. Sorry. We have to get going. Don't apologize. It was nice talking to you. See you around, Kendra. You do have a good day. What? This this is it. Right. Yeah. God, I, I think I need a second. I'm gonna have a look around, okay? I'll be right back. Yeah, all good. Snow sucks. That was... Is that her? What the hell was going on with you? What? Broke? <laughs> Why didn't you say anything? We were your goblins. <laughs> you didn't have to do it all alone. <laughs> Tessa? Kids. I, uh, I wasn't expecting to see. What are you? What, what the fuck do you think we're doing here? What are you doing here? Feeling a little guilty, maybe? Oh, real. I guess we're not gonna tear our new asshole. Look how pissed they are. Fuck. What the fucking ass? What are you doing here? What the fuck do you think we're doing here? When we pass on, our graves are all anyone has to remember us by. No. They have memories too. Letting hers just fall apart would be cruel. I'm not a cruel person. I have cap. Enough to call social services on our mother. Damn! Hey. I, I wanted to protect you. Cap. Was getting worse all the time. Mega ultra cap. I was that if things kept going the way Mega they were, ultra cap. Day, Mega ultra cap. Were going to end up dead? No, I won't do this again. No, you ain't going nowhere, bitch. We're doing this again. I to be held responsible for her choices. Marianne was fine until you reported her. Damn right. Fine. She was getting by on handouts for years. There are only so many times you can show up high to a generous offer of employment. Wait, hi. Assuming you show up at all. In the end, she isolated herself. She had mental health issues, bitch! And out of options. She had us, until you threatened to have us taken away. Damn right. Let her drag you down with her. She had you stealing for God's sake. Your mother never wanted to be a part of this community. She always thought she was better than the rest oh, of us. Oh, hell no, you did not a just say spoiled that. spoiled little girl playing fairy princess in the woods. Smack her! 
Smack her! Settle down with someone instead of running around with married men. Well, damn, dog. Damn, Kansky, how much better that would have been for everyone. Wait, what? I. Oh God. What happened between them? What? I, I, I knew it. Please, just forget I said anything. No, bitch. There's no. Tessa. There's no escaping now, ho. Is whatever went on, Laura left Sam over it. But I shouldn't have said anything about that. I promised I wouldn't. What the fuck is going on around here? You destroyed our family! Typical. Running away when things get tough. I don't buy that Marianne pushed you away. Damn right. Turned your back on her. Damn right. And now you're making excuses. Like always. Damn. You destroyed our family. Right. You fuck don't you, even have you. the decency to admit it. I told you we were going to tear our new asshole. Made mistakes. All I can do now is say that I'm sorry. And if you're I still not telling us the truth. Your mother, I would. I don't deserve your forgiveness. Damn right you don't. Especially yours, Tyler. But if there's a place for me in your lives, I'd like to be there. Nah, I let Eddie I in, but something first. Oh. Are you good with who I am? You went through a very challenging time, yeah. and anyone could come out on the other side confused. Bruh. There's help available out there. Mega bro. Keep your help. So that's it then. We're done because I believe something different than you. Well, no, but it's because you don't believe in me. Damn! Hit it on the nose, Tyler. Then I guess there's nothing more to say. Good riddance, bitch. With a capital B, <gasps> bitch. Cry me a river. You two really are her children. Wow. You really gonna go? I know that was hard. Wow. She really went there. The right thing. I wish she would have smacked yeah. her mouth, Addison, when she was talking about running around with married men and that she was a hoe and stealing. Fucking would have fucking... The snow would have been bloody. My backhand would have been on point. That was something, huh? <laughs> yeah, fucking was. bitch. Well, if you <clears throat> saying I told you so, now's the time. Everyone in our lives back then, none of them really gave a shit about us. No, everyone hated Sorry, Marianne. I, I didn't mean... It's okay. I mean... We had to force the truth out of Eddie, too. Eddie seems like a halfway decent but guy. At least he took care of us. Yeah, I get why you want to leave now. I get now why you're so pumped to go to Juno. You know, a part of me really thought I'd come here and everything would be exactly the same. Ignorance is bliss, right? You can say that again. You I'm glad we tore. For a bit? Yeah, probably should. I, I'm glad we tore her a new asshole though. She fucking went. She she went below the belt type shit. You know what I mean? It's like what the fuck. Not a bad view, right? Yeah. I get now where they put cemeteries in nice spots. Takes a little bit of the sting off. Listen. I know this has been hard. I'm really grateful you saw it through with me. Fireweed was great, but there was no one really there for me like that. You know. You're the only one. Hey, brothers and sisters, right? But it's been way more brothers than sisters lately, which is why I'm trying to say thank you. You really don't have to. You saved my life, Allison. Only for you to end up locked up in fireweed for the rest of your childhood. Wait, are you still blaming yourself for that? Don't. It was my choice. It's just... I stole your life, Tyler. Mm-mm. -hmm. And then I totally wasted it. That's not really. true. You're on your way to Denali. Michael's gonna be a famous chef. And and what am I doing? Michael's not gonna Nothing. be. Nothing. Bruh, stop putting yourself down, uh. You're a beautiful Nothing. woman. You've been working on that accounting degree. And your art's good. Really good. Stop putting yourself down. As soon as we figure this shit out, we're gonna sell the house. And you're gonna go to Juno. You're gonna kick ass. You make it sound so easy. No. We never had a shot at easy, but we always pull through, right? Yeah, you're right. Hey, wherever Ranger Tyler ends up next, he better come down from the hills to visit us city folk every now and then. You hear? For sure. And anyway, it's not going to be for a while. We've got time. Oh yeah, of course. We do. So I guess we know the story now, huh? Not really. Marianne was done with Delos. Delos was done with Yeah, Delos fucking turned her back on her real quick. Maybe 
Maybe she was too proud, but... Hold up. She worked so hard weird. for so long. Fucking and when she reached the end working. of a rope, no one was there to help her. Not even Tessa. Or Eddie. Sam. And when she heard social services was coming, she... She... Gave up. But killed her kids? Man, <laughs> I'm still torn about that. It still feels like there's something missing. Right? I feel that way too. I don't know what it is though. You're never going to understand what was going through her mind. I'll bet even she didn't. It's probably always going to feel that way. Stay away, Matt Hunter. Now's not the time. I'm gonna fall asleep the second I hit the couch. You better rally. We still have to do some cleaning before bed. Uh, do we have to? Hey, whoever packs the most gets the big couch tonight. Uh. Allison. Fire! I'll get the fire extinguisher. Fire! Fire! It's the fucking fuse box, I guarantee it. Oh, fucking titties! That scared the fuck out of me. Fucking god damn. That shit made me jump so hard. <laughs> I was not expecting that, the fucking arsonist. Tyler, are you alright? I was in barn. Stay there. I got it. God damn, that got me good. Fuck. You know if I say some random shit, I got my ass. <laughs> Knew it! It was the fucking firebox. Oh no, it wasn't. What the fuck's happening here? There, there was a, a guy. He smashed me in the face with the door. What guy? What did he look like? I'm not sure. I couldn't see straight. And Fuck, that got me black. so good, dude. I'm still fucking. Dudum, dudum, dudum. Well. I don't know. But I'm going to find out. Yeah, because it's in here. Hey, come check this out. Is that a box under the barn? Yeah. What the hell? I think this is where the fire started. So he was trying to burn whatever's inside? We should check it out. I'm going to need to remove a few more planks to get to it. Hmm. Where could we possibly find a tool to do that? Here's his accelerant right here. This gas can was already here this morning. Oh. He didn't bring... He went looking under the rug? Did he really have to smash everything? God. He really turned this place upside down. Someone's hiding something. At least you were scared. Something's dark. Asshole even dumped the drawers. Is that a crowbar? Axe? Good enough. Oh, crowbar. I guess we know how he made the hole. Why not take it with you? Why burn it? Step back. I'll be fine. <laughs> Until I hit you in the face with the crowbar. Why burn it? Why not just steal it? And throw it in the lake. Well, I only know one person who'd bother to decorate a storage box like this. Marianne. Let's open it. Three digits. Any ideas? Mm. Marianne was never really a numbers kind of person. What's that there? Some kind of carving. Not sure what it is, though. Let's take a look. Hmm... 
Uh, blah, blah, blah. Piercing eye. Uh, Jesus. Oh my gosh. Because there's more than a fucking story! Oh. <laughs> the f oh my gosh. There's the fucking. <laughs> I feel so stupid now. Princess and the Two Thieves. There's Big Paws. The protagonist is her name. The Goblin's Trick. The Pelican helps her friend. Nothing there. Aha! It's the same symbol. Right, I'm back. Let's read the whole story. Can I give you something? Giving him a coin. Uh, two goblins whistled. I know what the secret is. I want to buy Mr. Secret when you have to trade. Tell me about a cliffside to her death. I want to know more. They followed the peak. They reached that mansion, took their hands out of the clouds. Tears poured from their cheeks. You stole my secrets, give them back. For so many secrets, you'll die for more than that. Pick up to the voice, that will do. Oh! Sorry, fucking here. Oh, hang yeah, on. I saw one, three, zero. Hey, doesn't that carving look like the secret keeper from the I Book of it. Goblins? Got it. I'm so dumb. I can't believe I didn't know there was the next page of stories. I would have been able to figure that puzzle out easy. Guessing she didn't know how much of an ass he'd turn out to be. Hold on, let's read it. Dear Marianne, I need to see you again. I know that sounds that I don't want you to think I chase after all the new girls in Dallas Crossing. I've always taken my vows seriously, but something changed when I met you. When we're together, I feel like I'm doing 80 down the highway with my lights off and I never want to stop. I know it isn't right. We both have a lot to lose, but I need you to be with you again. I hope you feel the same. P.S. I bought you a little something for next time. I can't wait to see how it looks on you. Fuck. Marianne, I'm sorry you're in this situation. I know you feel you'd make a great mother, and I don't, and I don't this, doubt you will someday. Tried to push Marianne to get an abortion. But right now we have to be sure to know we don't ruin three us. lives. My marriage hasn't been happy for some time, but she doesn't deserve this. So, but mostly I'm worried about you. People here talk, and I don't want you to have to go through that. I know money has been tight, but I'll do what I can to help you do the right thing. Just let me know how much you need. So Sam is the dad. I guess that. everything. What the hell? So, Marianne hid a box under the barn. A box full of letters from our deadbeat dad. He came from. He turned the whole place upside down and didn't take anything. All he wanted was that box. And he was willing to burn down the barn to get rid of what was inside. You know what it all means, right? Yep. That guy had an affair with Marianne, and he just tried to torch the evidence. He must have heard we were clearing out the house. He was worried we'd find it. You know, I... I can't shake the feeling I've seen him here. It's Sam! You back for more, you son of a bitch? Oh, it's a memory. This is the night. Why are we seeing this? I don't know about you, but I haven't forgotten anything about that night. I would have said the same thing, but something felt different. I need to see the rest. I don't know what happens. We don't know what happens. Shut up. The Mad Hunter! There was someone here that night? In the woods? No. It was just... I, s I saw... Who the hell did I actually see? Who are you? A mad hunter! What? No. That... That was the mad hunter. What? What are you talking about? That night, I thought I saw the Mad Hunter in the woods, but I guess it was just some asshole. Some asshole who just fucking stood there and watched while our mother chased me with a shotgun. Do you think it was the same guy? Maybe. I mean, 
It had to be him, right? They were wearing the same fishing gear. Yeah, unless everyone who wants to mess with us is coordinating outfits. And wait, he was here once before, wasn't he? A few days before Marianne died? Maybe? Hold on, do you feel that? Damn, he ran straight for it. No stops, no turns. He was on a mission. Trail ends here. It looks like he jumped into the gully. Hey, are there footsteps on the other side? Yeah, that must be where he climbed out. Well, he's long gone. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Our mother fought with someone on the dock about us. We need to know if it was the same guy. But what if it's not that memory? What if it's... I can't go through that again. We have to take that chance. But do we really? I mean, someone just tried to burn our barn down. Yeah, and that means we've got to be close to something. I'm not going on that dock. Just one more time, fam. No, not gonna just guilt. One more time, please. There's always just one more. Every time it seems like we're done with this, something new pops up. What if this is the only chance to figure out who our father is? Then we go on living our lives without him, just like we always have. Come on, we need to know the truth. For her. What if I don't want to know the truth? Huh? Oh. Did you ever consider that? Oh. No. You just push and push and you have to take responsibility for your part in Marianne's death. Oh. What? That wasn't me. That was somebody subconscious. Oh. I didn't. But I I did, right? Earlier to Eddie. But I, I swear I didn't just say that to you. So we can't even trust our own. Oh place. god damn it. What a fucking terrible time. You fucking piece of shit. Oh. Get out of here. Go on. Go fucking living. Son of a bitch. Right in the middle of something. God. I, I don't know. Allison. Give her a hug. Let's go. I didn't mean what I said though. It wasn't me. It was my subconscious, the son of a bitch. Jeez. Uh. Come on. Jeez. Oh, Ouch! Watch it. You're stepping on my foot. Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet. We don't want mom to catch us out of bed. I told you that would happen. What? We almost had it though. That was us watching Marianne fight with that guy. Try to focus on him. All right? Don't think about anything else. Right towards the end of an episode too, it gets real juicy. Come on. Come on, Allison. There you go. I don't owe you anything. You've been a little all over the place lately. That all isn't Sam. Over the place. I've just been trying to survive. If you want to make sure I don't get desperate, you could help us out. Lend me some money. What happened? Why did it stop? I can't, Tyler. Damn it, Allison! We were so damn close. Please! Just don't strain yourself too much. I'm sorry. But I'm done. That's it? F fuck. You're just giving up, just like that. You can't do this. We owe her. Marianne is gone, Tyler. And nothing we do is gonna change that. Really? Don't go. Please. 
You can't keep running from this alley, or it's only gonna get worse. See, I meant to say it that time. Bruh. God damn it, Allie. God damn it! Ouch! Watch it! You're stepping on my foot! Can you hear what they're saying? Quiet! We don't want mom to catch us out of bed. There's no money. I've never asked you for anything, but right now she has a shotgun. You. It's not gonna happen. I've got everything I need to nail your ass in that barn. And just what do you think happens after that? Shoot him. What do you mean? Well, if those kids have a father, you really think there's a court out there that'll let you keep them? No, you have no claim to my children. Tell him, Marianne. Fuck Get that guy. Get the hell off my property now. Shoot him. If you ever come put two slugs in his chest, I'm going to kill you. That's where I'm going to kill you came from. That's where that fucking little bit came from. I knew that wasn't what she said. I knew there was no way she said that to her kids. I know she didn't say that to her kids. That's where that snippet came from in her memory. Damn. Now fucking chapter 3 is going to be crazy, dude. Chapter 3 is going to be insane. This story is good as hell. So, let's see. 58%. Okay. You see, because I figured it from the, the... Throwing the photos, so let's see. Tyler felt hurt about needing time when Allison refused the house showing. Most people refused it. Allison felt hopeful about becoming a family when Tyler forgave. We forgave. 80% forgave. Eddie was touched by Tyler's forgiveness. Michael felt awkward. 20% turned him down. Come on, dog. You gotta cock block him, dog. He wants to get up on in these jeans and he ain't getting there. Ha <laughs> 19% didn't forgive him? You fuckers. Why would you forgive her? I, I didn't. I don't. I don't feel an ounce of remorse for not. For not. Rejecting or for not forgiving her. I'm sorry, but Most of the shit came from her I'm sorry, I don't feel bad 81% though forgave Tessa that is not a small number to sneeze at I am in the serious majority there But I couldn't forgive her oh. She needed a new asshole torn There's something else we're gonna get this over and done with, this intro, and then we're gonna dip. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? I still gotta I think the crafty take all this do all this shit for to sneak through. Let's go. I wonder who the piece of shit dad was. I thought it was Sam, but it's not Sam. I don't think it's Eddie. Because Eddie's single. So why wouldn't he just take the kids? He took the kids anyway. You know what I mean? Um, I don't think it was Tom. I don't think it's anybody we've been introduced to yet. Okay. Yep. Next episode, we'll be starting chapter three. That's the last chapter in this game. A bit... Well, I can't say a bit short. I've gotten quite a bit of footage from this game, but... I gotta say, I am, I am so happy about this game. Even though it touches on subjects I normally wouldn't touch with a 20-foot pole. Uh, I'm not giving my personal opinion about them, but... Uh, I am enjoying the shit out of this mystery. No cap. I am enjoying the shit out of it. And this game, like I said, gets me fucking amped up. Like, 
And I have goosebumps right now. Because I'm thinking about that chump scare. <laughs> that shit got me. You all don't understand how good that shit got me. <sighs> I want to know who that prick is, though. We have to know. I really hope Allison comes around and lets me figure it out. Because I need to know who that prick is. But ultimately, if it comes down between me choosing Allison and who the father is, fuck him. We're not, we're not letting, we're not leaving Allison again. Fuck that. All right, guys. Fucking get way too juicy up in this bitch. Catch you all in the next episode.